Hello beloved and welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at what messages the divine wants to give you in this timeless reading. Now I always remind you that these readings are of course generalized and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. The first card that you have received is the Ace of Coins. So we are going to be talking about your money. There are some new beginnings around your money, your resources, even your health. Okay, so we're gonna bring this card here. Beloved, I want to say to you that if you took part in the Gemini New Moon a ceremony, the candle ceremony that I did, uh, and you're still waiting for your pictures, everything is going to be delivered to you soon. I'm just processing everything. Mercury retrograde wasn't kind to me at all. <laughs> So I'm a little bit behind um, with processing all your pictures and your footages. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do new moon and full moon prayers and ceremonies. And these prayers and ceremonies are designed for you to write your petition, for you to tune into the energies of what you are wanting to pray about, what you are wanting to manifest or what you are wanting to release banish okay welcome good luck that type of energy look at that welcome in your blessings that type of energy okay so if you're wanting your own uh candles and prayer service done for you the next uh, service for the full moon is going to be the full moon in sagittarius my full moon and that's going to be perfect for calling in your blessings calling in your luck because sagittarius is ruled by jupiter and Jupiter is all about expansion, is all about the good things in life, right? So if you're wanting to work with me for that full moon, that is going to be happening, I think on the 13th, 14th, something like that. I haven't got my phone to check, but it's around those dates. If you go on my website, everything you need to know is going to be there. Go in, in the description box below and have a look. All the information that you need, the links and everything are there. So like I said, there is something about your money that is coming in. There are some new beginnings that have the potential to grow into something magnificent, something magical. I really feel that for some of you, you are really praying about your money. You're really wanting to invest your money into something that is going to give you good returns. There is a focus and an encouragement that is here. Because when we're looking at the energies of the Ace of Coins, it is like that blessing that is coming in. And remember, the card that you received from our Oracle cards was talking about your blessings. Isn't it interesting that the two cards that have come up from our Oracle cards and from our Tarot cards are speaking about the same type of thing. There is something that is coming in that has the potential to grow into something magnificent, to grow into something big over time. With the blessings in disguise card, the divine is saying that whatever is coming in, even though it is growing over time, just be aware that there just could be that energy of those ups and downs because the blessing that is coming in, you are taking this, you are thanking the divine. Maybe you're saying your prayers when it is the Sagittarius full moon day and you're speaking to Jupiter about bringing in these blessings and Jupiter is coming in and giving you those blessings. And as you're receiving, you are starting to learn about where to invest these blessings, about maybe starting your own business, about maybe thinking about how you can work less but make more money. So there is a progression that is on the cards that go, you start making money and then there is a learning period, a learning curve that is here. And then you go down a little bit, but you come back stronger than before. For some of you, I'm hearing that you have already been experiencing this type of energy, okay? Things were going good, but then there is sort of like a hiccup. The divine is saying that it is not a hiccup this is a learning opportunity that is here. And if you really use this energy as well, you could be expanding, you could be growing. There is just some blessings that are here. So the setback that you have received around your resources, your money or your health, this is going to be coming back in a way that is going to be just for you to feel thankful for that hiccup, that mishap, that mistake. 
okay so there is something that you are perceiving right now as having made a mistake maybe you're thinking that you made a mistake in your investments you're kicking yourself for not taking your money out in time but whatever is going on the divine the divine is saying that there are some blessings in disguise so stop kicking yourself but instead shift the energies and seeing how you can benefit from that mishap that has happened okay the next card that you have is the energies of the eight of swords the energies of the eight of swords came about in reverse now when we're talking about the eight of swords it is again another emphasis from the divine about something that you are i'm going to turn this card the right way around so you can see the image and really take it in something that you are feeling like you made a mistake about something that you're kicking yourself about there is an energy of regret when you come to the energies of the eight of swords and that regret is keeping you a prisoner okay so the divine is saying that there is a blessing in disguise right now you are not seeing it so with the eight of swords it is that energy that is encouraging you to look up and to look around and you will see that there is a way out of this situation. You are not as bound. You are not as powerless as you are feeling. Now, when we're talking about the energies of the swords, it is always worth remembering that this is on the mental plane. So something mentally, something that you're thinking about is making you feel like you have made a mistake. You are bound to a situation. You haven't got a way out of a situation and the divine is coming in and saying it is all in your mind okay so it is time to lift up your head to communicate with the divine maybe you're doing this over that sagittarius full moon remember we're talking about your blessings and i told you that this is jupiter the energies of the full moon that is coming in is going to be coming in and bringing expansion and bringing that energy of awareness Okay, Sagittarius is all about learning. It is all about seeking truth. So for some of you, you are learning that actually the truth of the matter is that you are not as powerless as you are thinking right now. And as you're getting that information, you are getting up, you are freeing, you are liberating yourself and your situation is changing. There is just something that is here where you are feeling very much in your mind, brokenhearted, disappointed, Okay, because the next card that you're receiving is the energies of the five of, of swords. Again, the energies of the five of swords. You're back in your emotions. You're back in your feelings. Look at these two cards that are here from our tarot cards. There is just a disappointment that is here. The divine is saying that even though you've experienced broken promises and because of this, you are feeling like you can trust the world. You're feeling that you can trust yourself to make the right decisions. The divine is saying again, this is false. So for you, get out of your mind. Maybe go and meditate, go for a walk, go and do whatever it is that can shift this type of energy. Because as soon as you shift these energies, you're gonna see that things are going to be changing. And definitely there is a shift of energy that is going to be required. Because look at the card that you've received. We see some of you shifting your energies because maybe you are going on a holiday. Maybe you, you and your partner are just going and choosing to have a staycation. You are leaving your home and your immediate surroundings, even though you might not be flying anywhere. But maybe you are flying somewhere. You're planning your holidays for the summer holidays. You are just planning something that allows you a change of scenery because you are wanting to shift the energies that are here. You're wanting to be somewhere different. By being somewhere different, you feel that you'll be able to think more clearly about whatever has currently happened. For some of you, you have experienced your heart being shattered about something. And again, the divine is saying, remember the first oracle card that you received was telling you that there are some blessings in disguise committed to this situation that is here or rather connected to the situation that is being brought about by our two tarot cards. Okay, so really look at these energies that are here. And the divine is saying there is something that you're currently not seeing. Soon you're going to be rising like that, like that phoenix as you're exiting this situation. 
and as you are going on a staycation, on a vacation, as you're going out into nature, you are just shaking up those energies and you're starting to see more clearly about how you can make this ace of coins grow into something that you are going to be thankful for. Beloved, again, if you are wanting to work with me for that full moon in Sagittarius, everything that you need to know is in the description box below, especially if you're just feeling like, you know, things are not going your way right now and you're just wanting some prayers said on your behalf. Beloved, I always tell you that you are equally as powerful as me. There's nothing special going on here, okay? So you can say your own prayers. You can invite the energies of Jupiter to come and bless you in this situation that you're currently experiencing. But of course, if you're choosing to work with me, make sure that you are going and booking your candle, your space well in advance. Don't wait until the last minute and then I'm sold out. But also, I want to remind you that I work with all different types of energies all throughout the week. Each day of the week has got a special energy that is connected to it. So if you're wanting to manifest, if you're wanting to bring in new energies, if you're wanting to work with the energies of Jupiter, there is a specific day in the week that you can do that. So still, you can go and buy your candle, book your space, and I will work with you if you don't want to wait all the way until the full moon. This is the reading that I have for you. Whatever is happening right now, things are going to be turning around very, very soon. So do not despair. This is me saying goodbye to you and I'll see you in my next reading. It is a goodbye from me. Bye.